welcome to another video in this video we will discuss about that if someone is actually copying the courses or uh, some website material that you have own or that you have created and someone is using it and they are actually making money from it then you can remove uh, those content from the google or you can send a request to google uh, and they will verify the details and they will remove or they will send a notice to the website and google will send a notice or punishment to that particular website and uh, google will remove those material from uh, itself okay and they will take the legal action against that particular website's owner you know that i have created a course and someone actually copied it uh, uh, copied it okay so e this one is the course x plus plus fundamental programming fundamental and d365 this one is the course and this one is the material that you can see so when i'm searching this result okay and if you search this particular result you can see that uh, a video is actually coming and there is a website uh, this one website you can see so if you click here you will be transferred to this particular page and you can see that they made they copied my material and they are selling with rupees 800 rupees so i have not given any permission and they have not taken any permission from me but they are copying all the content from myself or anyhow they get the material uh, because i have uploaded this content in the udemy as well so from there um, they may be um, downloaded or from the another source they are actually downloading and then they are pasting that material over here and they are selling with this particular piece right so this is illegal and you can see everything they copied uh, from the description requirement and the overview all the details that i have shared you can see that each and everything they have copied okay so now what i can do so i can take uh, action or here you can see they have given their telegram page link so you can send a message to them and say uh, you can send a legal notice to them uh, you can create a legal notice with a lawyer and then you can send it to him or there is another process you can uh, search in the google uh, remove content from the google so here is the page just search for remove content from google and this page will open and here you can say report content on google so you can go over here and you can uh, select google search over here you can select google search and they will uh, try to select uh, some other details and here can here you can see that policy non-legal reason to report and there is a legal reason to report content and you, you can see relating to country region specific law and intellectual property so this one is a part of the intellectual property so that's why you had to select this one and you had to select again intellectual property so you had to select this one and again then select the reason you wish to report the content so there are many options so i would like to select the this one and here they are asking for are you are you the copyright owner authorized to act on behalf so yes i am the copyright owner so that's why i have to select and if it's actually a video thing they are copying the video material or the course content so then it will be a image or video and if someone is actually copying a material like a blog material then you can select the other and then you can proceed so here in this section you have to select the video uh, select your video and then they are asking for are you sure to file so they are asking for the are you sure and here they are asking for are you sure that you want to file this so you had to click here to further process so it will take you to the google search console um, so there you had to id of the google search console and it will be linked automatically if you have not login then login and it will be automatically transferred to this page and here you have to keep your personal name uh, first name and last name so whatever the site that you are uh, actually showing your original content that is also required okay and here you have to specify the copyright holder uh, your represent so here you have to select the name of yourself myself 
and you have to select this one you have to give the name of the email id you have to give the email id over here and then if from there you have to select the region and then copyright work so here they are asking is this the submission and in this section you can see that it is saying that is the submission related to unauthorized stream of an upcoming so it's not for the live so you had to select no here and then identify describe the copyrighted work so here you can write the details uh, of your work that you have uh, own so for that you can uh, take this kind of note so for uh, in my case i can paste it over here like this that i am the creator of the uh, course title x++ programming language this one and this website is copying actually my data content without any permission and you can write all this information uh, uh, that you and that will be helpful for you okay and if it will be blog you can change the wording little bit uh, so that it fits uh, based on your copyrighted work okay and then where can we see the authorized example so here you have to give your original content page uh, so in my case I have to select this one this particular link and I have to paste over here and and location of the infringing material so in that case you have to give the link of, uh, you have to give this particular link the person the website who is actually copying your data okay and after that if there will be, will be any more than one particular link th that they are actually copying then you can add a group and you can um, yeah, give the details of that as well and after that you have to select all these details and you have to select today's date and then here you have to give your signature your name and then you can click over here i am not robot and then you can submit it over here okay so it will it will go to the uh, google as a request okay and then you can check uh, from this section report content on google from this section and you will get this kind of id please take this id okay and uh, when you will uh, send this particular request it will be in pending state and after that you can check the uh, status of your material okay so here you can see that it is actually showing completed and uh, you will be able to see the data over here and that you have submitted and approval so they are approved and they have rejected if they will reject it uh, they, you can see and it can send, you can see the pending status and all these things so it will take one or two more days i hope and after that uh, they will take the action so in this way you can um, remove the content from the google and if you are the owner of the content so that's a very much important thing if you are the owner of the original content and if you have the proof then you can submit this particular report okay to the google so i hope it's uh, it's helpful so if you have any question regarding uh, this particular issue you can write it in the comment section i will try to uh, solve your issue as soon as possible if i'll know it okay and i'll reply your comment so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye